all these people are just big insults to our intelligences as fans. And the problem that they have with Rings of Power is there's far too many Lord of the Rings fans who really know the lore more than anything else. And so when they go at us like this, when they attack Tolkien fans, they are committing the biggest cardinal sin ever. And uh, it's amazing they always do this. This is this is the go-to from Hollywood, go-to from actors. They attack the fans right before, saying that the fans are nonsense or you're not real fans, uh, to try to justify their weird diversity crap they're trying to put into things and trying to just destroy. Well, J.R.R. Tolkien would be rolling in his grave. As a, as a strong Catholic man, as a brilliant man, uh, this is not the work that he had in mind. This was not something that he ever would have allowed to happen with his world. Even Christopher Tolkien, they had to wait till Christopher Tolkien was out in order to gr- greenlight this kind of stuff because he would have never allowed this either. That guy was a great steward of his father's legacy. It's really sad what we're seeing now from Amazon and Rings of Power. We're going to get into this in just a moment. We covered the the uh, uh, ratioing of their uh, new trailer before it's only gotten worse. We covered the fact that they said that there are LGBTQ characters already in the show uh, on uh, at San Diego Comic-Con, and now we get this. This is just a feather in the cap of wokeness destroying another great thing. All right. My name is John Delarose, everybody. I am a professional science fiction and fantasy writer. I would appreciate you if you would check out my newest project, The Hidden Emperor. I'm building a great world with great lore. You'll absolutely love this uh, if you like good world building and the like. Um, This is a new graphic novel and book, uh, two different stories that are out right now uh, that are a lot of fun. So please check this out. It's in the description below. Already hit 21,000 thanks to support from people like you. Uh, We're building something awesome here, building something new that they can't corrupt because I'm in charge of all of it. (laughs) And uh, thank you so much again. Uh, I can't do it without your support. And please hit the like and subscribe button. Join us here, my friends. We are having great times on the channel, and I appreciate uh, the real Lord of the Rings fans out there. So Lord of the Rings season power, uh, (laughs) Lord of the Rings season power, Lord of the Rings rings of power. This bothered me as a title since the beginning because it's so redundant. Lord of the Rings, the Rings. This this is just really a mouthful. Um, <laughs> but uh, whatever. Uh, season 2 trailer premiered uh, at San Diego Comic-Con, surpassed 139,000 dislikes as the number of actors in the show continued to trash fans of J.R.R. Tolkien and his work. Around July 29th, it had about 8 million views, and with 56,000 likes, 112,000 dislikes, getting ratioed pretty hard, like 2 to 1. Um, this is uh, not a good sign for Prime Video as they're coming out with Season 2 very shortly here. A lot of people tuned in to see what it was going to be like, see if they actually changed directions, if they were going to do anything different, and it looks like they just have a complete doubling down on what they were setting up in Season 1. Even worse, it looks like they're setting up Sauron, Sauron as a uh, uh, thirst trap villain, uh, a, a bisexual one perhaps. That's the rumor now going around that they're turning him into a gay, uh, which I'm going to stop right here. It's kind of weird, like... I've noticed that uh, there's a trend in Hollywood to make the villains bisexual, gay, transgender. Uh, they're, they're trying to cast for, like, representation purposes, but <laughs> all they end up representing is that uh, the stuff that they, they're pushing is evil. It's so weird, but that's what they're doing. So on July 30th, the trailer had 11.6 million views, 71,000 likes, and over 139,000 dislikes. Wow. Uh, a lot of views. By comparison, the San Di- Season 1 San Diego Comic-Con trailer received 12 million. It had 87,000 likes, 474,000 dislikes. Now, while this might look a little better, guys, uh, like if you're looking at 71 to... If you can see what all this means on a, on a level for Amazon Lords of the Rings is that the people who are disliking Season 1, who gave it a shot, they all tuned out. They're not even checking out the trailer. So you've got like... a uh, you know, more than half your audience already just completely checked out of this. Uh, some less likes than before as well. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. While season two, San Diego Comic-Con trailer is not getting as many dislikes, still pacing around twice as many dislikes to likes, as they mentioned. So actress uh, Morphid Clark, who plays Galadriel, said uh, this, uh, which was so obnoxious. I, I When I saw this, I was just like, I was just like, I hate these people. <laughs> she said, you know, powerful women, they make people cross, and I feel blessed to play her and make Sauron cross. Um, so, again, she's attacking the fans. 
saying, you don't like it because it's a strong female lead. This is their victim playing as as the ratings are low. It's actually the fans' fault, uh, and we need to push even harder because they're just misogynistic bigots. That's what that's what they try to sell to these companies, and it, it works. I mean, I just don't know how much longer it's going to work. Uh, and uh, But hey, a- actor Ishmael Cruz Cordova also stated, and this is where he's coming in here, my character is not in the lore of Lord of the Rings, and that was an issue for some people. Well, yeah, I mean, having a black elf is retarded. I mean, let's just let's just let's just say this right now. In in a Middle Earth, which is supposed to be a representation of like old England, retarded. Um, and he he talks about this. A big controversy of me being the first elf that wasn't white. You see, you see the trend here. Galadriel is making people cross because they're bigots and misogynists. The controversy is because I'm not white. It's about me. It's not about you, Tolkien. It's not about Tolkien's work. It's about my identity and how I feel seen. These people are just so insufferable every single time. I mean, can you imagine just being in real life and having people talk like this? Hollywood is like in a different orbit of just insanity, of of people who are just living out these weird sexual fetish fantasies revolving around skin color and uh, and uh, who they're what kind of dresses they're wearing as dudes or whatever. It's, it's just so weird, um, and it's, it's creepy at the end of the day as well. He says, I love the nerve that I pinch. So he, he's mad. He's, he's, he's gleeful that the fans hate it. He's gleeful that, he, that the fans are not accepting the fact that this is fake lore. And this is, this is true. They, they are not ashamed of the fact that the fans hate the shows, that they're failing. They're proud that it's failing because at least we put in our politics. That's how they seriously feel about things, even as they destroy great things like Tolkien's work. He says, I was excited to create something new. We should have created an Amazon Prime epic fantasy show starring black elves. Like, even then, nobody would have watched it and we'd be mocking it. But at least he wouldn't have been destroying Tolkien's work, which would have been totally opposed to this. And you know it. You know it. A lot of people speaking on behalf of Tolkien. I don't know if they understand the spirit of Tolkien. His work speaks of the times. There's a lot to unpack right here. So fans who actually understand the lore and understand everything are just trying to speak on behalf of this guy. Uh, you see how insulting that is to fans? You see how insulting it is to you who actually knows the lore of Lord of the Rings, who actually read these works and paid attention to it? Maybe actually read the Cimmerillion and and uh, the Book of Lost Tales and the like because you actually know uh, what he was trying to set up with all of his world building and all that? He knows better. Why? Because he's not white. You see, you see how this works? It's, it's, it's such a mind-numbingly low IQ argument. And these people in Hollywood, that's where they're at these days. These are dumb people who just read their lines and shouldn't be listened to at all. Uh, they're not the actors of yore that actually had brains to them. It's not something anymore. And so they're saying we don't understand the spirit of Tolkien. The spirit of Tolkien is extremely uh, black and white in the non-racial sense, but in the like uh, morality sense. There's good. There's evil. You have to shun evil. You have to do good, period. And you have to sacrifice to live your life like that. And that, that's the best way to be as a man, as a hobbit, as an elf. doesn't matter. And that's a, that sort of morality is really at odds with Hollywood and everything they're trying to promote. Now, when he goes back to this, his work speaks of the times. Uh, he also is talking about just like it's, it's a dated work. So he's actually complaining about Tolkien's work as being dated, as he's gaslighting fans, as he's pretending that he knows Tolkien better just because of his skin color, it's just, this is such a bizarre statement. It is such an insult to fans. This might uh, this might be even worse than uh, the chick up here who's going, uh, the, the powerful women make people cross. My gosh, just, these are such insufferable people. He also stated, we work with these deep existential questions, and those questions change with the times. You know what? <laughs> Tolkien was not an existentialist, <laughs> for one. Oh my gosh, this is painful to listen to. We can't retell something like Lord of the Rings Today 2024 without introducing different existential questions, and that comes in the form of character. So he tries to sound smart. He like Existential is one of those words that people try to sound smart with, but it, but it really doesn't mean anything. And that, that's actually the point of Rings of Power. It doesn't have any meaning. It doesn't have any depth. It doesn't have any theme. It's just gobbledygook on a screen. And that's the whole problem with it. That's why it doesn't work. When you when you take away the immortal truths out of things, when you take away uh, everything that's real about it and just leave a skin suit, you, you're left with nothing. And that's that's exactly what you've got. 
We've never really seen an elf that was the people's elf. Yes, the, the black elf is the people's elf. Yes, of course. We've seen elves that were royal and regal. We hadn't seen one that was frontline soldier. The guy got an assignment kind of thing. It was pretty cool to represent that. You see the represent word again? And have a voice with an elf, a voice. See, it's all about it's all about the black. And he's trying to couch it as it, 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 it's something else. But it actually is just flying in the face of the lore of what elves are. It doesn't make any sense. His character is nonsensical. And that's part of why it doesn't work. A lot of people identify with this elf and his plight. They really don't. <laughs> After attacking fans for not understanding the spirit of Tolkien, he made it abundantly clear he was projecting. It's necessary to revise things and represent and exist. I think a lot of people look to us to affirm their own existence. Really? That's insane. I'm so happy people can look at that and look at any of us and see themselves in this beautiful world we should all belong in. Fantasy. Well, I think the real problem is these people need to get out of their little fantasy worlds of the Hollywood bubble and get into the real world a little bit where, you know, this is this is just complete insanity. And the fact that you attack fans, the fact that you tell us we don't understand Tolkien when we do, when you clearly don't understand Tolkien, you try to revise it and change it to something different is more than insulting, and we're sick of it, and we're fed up with it, and that's why we're going to have another failure of a season. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure to check out great work in The Hidden Emperor on Kickstarter. I think you'll absolutely love this. Thank you so much for supporting us so far. We'll be back soon.